Hello everyone, this is Miss Amy here to do another fun art project together. Today we're going to learn how to draw a realistic bat. So let's go over your list of supplies you'll need for this project. Just a plain piece of drawing paper. Um, you can use plain white paper too if you don't have drawing paper. You will need a pencil. I'm using a, an art pencil, a 2B art pencil, but if you just have a regular pencil, that'll work fine too. I have a blending tool called a tortillion. It's just a, a really tightly twisted paper um, with some nice points on the end. You can find these. Um, they often come with a drawing kit if you or drawing pencils you can find at your hobby or art store. But I, these are wonderful for blending. Now, if you don't have one of these today, you can use a paper towel and just fold it and roll it up really tightly. Um, a pencil sharpener. And then I have two types of erasers. I have a gum eraser, but you could use just a regular uh, school eraser would be fine. And then I do have a kneaded eraser that I'm going to use to create some highlights. Um, this is a really soft eraser, very easy to squish. We call them, sometimes we call them squishy erasers. All right, and then I usually have a piece of sandpaper. That's great for cleaning my blending tool and it's good for cleaning my gum eraser also. So that's optional, not necessary. All right, let's go ahead and get started on this cute little bat. So we're gonna start with some shapes and then put the shapes together and then add our dark areas and light areas, which are values. So we're gonna start kind of just in the middle of our paper so we have room for his wings on both sides. And you're just gonna start with a circle. And this is kind of where the body's gonna be. It can be kind of a more of an oval circle that works fine. Um, just a shape like that. We're going to change it later anyway. And then at the top of that, we're going to make an oval across the top like that. All right. And then on the bottom of that oval, we're going to um, take and make kind of a U shape, kind of where the, um, like the little nose of the uh, bat's going to go. And then off of the top of this oval, we're gonna make two big triangle shapes. Bats have pretty big ears because that's how they use their sonar. They send out a signal and then they can, when it bounces off of something, their ears can pick that up. It's pretty cool. All right, and then off of the, the circle, we're gonna draw, they have, their arms are like little bones here that come out and their legs, everything is attached with the wings. So we're gonna go ahead and create those and then we'll go and fine tune our bat. So off the top of this first um, shape that I made, I'm just gonna make a line that goes out and kind of an angled line and then it's gonna go up and then I'm gonna kind of curve it out to the side. And then what I do on that side, I'm gonna to try to do the exact same shape on the other side here. Try to make sure, try to get them about the same size. All right, and then two more from that joint right here. We're gonna add another one and another one, just like that. So from that on this side, from this point, we're gonna add another one and another one like that. And then adjust that a little bit. Okay. And then his, uh, from the bottom of this oval, we're gonna draw his back legs. And they probably have a little bit of a joint, but I didn't, I'm just gonna draw him straight for now. And then he has a little tail too. And I'm gonna make that like a small, a skinny triangle coming out the bottom there, a little, just like that. So now let's go back and add, now that we got the basic shape, we're gonna fine tune our bat a little bit and just um, put all these little shapes together. So we're gonna come around with the face and I'm just gonna kind of 
kind of join all those shapes together and erase everything that's inside. So inside the ears, inside the nose, and then kind of make that. And this is where you can change things a little bit if you need to. Um, and that. Okay, and then on the next to the on each side of the nose, we're gonna make a big, pretty good sized circle. The bats kind of have big eyes. And then I like to add just a little nose. We're not gonna do too many details on the nose. It depends what kind of bat you're drawing. They may have a little bit different nose and face, but we're gonna draw this cute bat. So all right, and then the body we're gonna kind of shape. So we wanna follow this circle, but we're gonna make it more, a little more narrow towards the bottom. So we wanna come in and then just kind of make that more rounded, kind of like the back part of the body there. And then we can erase all those lines we don't need on the side here. Okay, and then I'm gonna make his legs a little bit wider All right, so for I'm going to make his these arms, these bones, I'm going to make them a little wider by drawing parallel lines all the way on all of them in the end, kind of in a point. Depending on the bat, type of bat you're drawing, we're going to just do it this way today. I know I've seen some that have like little claws, but on this bat, we're not going to do that today, but you can add that if you want. Same on the other side, make our little parallel lines. All right. All right, now we're going to add our wing. We're going to add the wings. So I'm going above the arm here. I'm going to just draw a parallel line, but kind of make it rounded, rounded around the shape here. Come out to the end. And then as I round it around, I'm, this first um, part of the that bone there, I'm going to curve it in and then around the other one. And then curve it in and around the other one. And then I'm gonna cur curve it in slightly all the way down to the foot there. So you see how it has like a, reminds me of kind of an umbrella shape a little bit. You wanna, that's all that skin in between the bones there. Cross between a mouse and a bird almost. I'm gonna erase that line on, oops. Change it just a little bit. There we go. Get them all connected there. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Start above the arm from the body and just kind of curve around. We're making it more curved. Then we get to the tip here. We're going to go around the tip and then in. Curve it in. Around the tip. Curve it in. Around the tip. And then we're going to curve it down to the leg. Curve it in towards the body. And this is, you can adjust the arm, the bones there if you need to. All right, and then between the feet to the tail, we're gonna curve it up towards the body. There we go. And then at the end of the feet, you can make little claws if you want. At the end of that leg. So I just made some curved lines, little curved lines for the claws. And then we're gonna keep the tail. All right, so now that we have our basic shape of our um, bat, you can uh, change any lines you need to change now, make any adjustments before we start shading in it with some our pencil. All right, so this is the basic outline of our bat. Now we want to add some values to make it look a little more real and to look make it look like it has form. So I'm gonna start with the face and I'm gonna create the body a little lighter than I'm gonna do the wings. The wings will be a little darker. So 
when I'm putting, when I'm using pressure on my pencil, I don't want to press too hard on the body of the bat because I'm going to press harder on the wings to get a darker color. So, or a darker shade. So I'm going to do a little bit lighter on the body. So I'm going to start um, near the nose here and just do a little bit dark around the eyes, kind of a little shadow there under the eyes. And I'm not doing very heavy pressure. I'm using a soft pencil, so I don't have to get, I don't have to press too hard to get a nice um, dark uh, shadow there. And then as I move away from the face, I'm going to use less and less pressures or move away from this dark area. I'm going to use less and less pressure so that it gets lighter and lighter, but it kind of blends there and it doesn't, then you're not left with this harsh line. Okay, and I'm for the body, I'm doing kind of tiny little circles when I color in um, to give that body that fur look. It kind of has a furry look like a little mouse. So that's why I'm doing it that way. So I'm going to do this same. I do real lightly on the nose because that's where our light is hitting and it's a little lighter. And we want it to be a little more forward than um, next to our nose there. And then along the ears, the, the edges of the ears can be a little bit darker. And then as we get to the away from the edge, we're going to use less and less pressure so that um, it gets lighter and lighter. And then I'm going to leave a little white light spot right in the middle of the ear. because The picture that I used as a reference, it kind of had a little pinkness inside of its ear there. So we're going to leave that and then we do the edge a little darker and then as we come away from the edge we use a lighter and lighter pressure and then just leave that center when I'm going to color in the middle of that and then the top of the head I'm going to do a little bit darker it's almost like our light is facing directly on the bat like the bat's in a cave and it's dark behind him and it's we're taking a picture and that flash flashed um, on him and so he's lighter in the front areas and a little darker along the edges. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and lightly add some, there we go. And then his eyes, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a little circle in his eyes. And that's kind of where the light is reflecting off those eyes. And then around that, I'm gonna color real heavy to get a nice dark, his eyes are nice and dark. but I have a little bit of white in the eye just to, as a reflection of the light. Okay, so then his body, I'm gonna do a little bit darker under heavier pressure right under his head. So it should be a little darker than what we did his head. So I'm gonna do a little heavier pressure there. And then as I move farther down in his body, I'm going to use less and less pressure. So this starts just kind of blending and getting lighter and lighter. So I move down. And I'm going to do it, keep a little bit darker along the edge. And then as I get to the center of his body, it's going to be lighter and lighter. Same thing on the other side here. Do that same thing. And a little bit dark under his nose. And then the very center of my bat is going to be the lightest. And then underneath this body here, I'm going to darken it here. And as I come away from the edge, I'm going to use less and less pressure. Now this takes a little bit of practice to really get that pressure just how heavy or light you push on your pencil so don't worry if you don't get it right away because it does take some practice there we go now he has that nice little texture too on him all right and then we're gonna just um we're gonna start on his wings now and so I'm going to color them pretty heavy. I'm going to do a pretty heavy 
start above here and just color that in pretty solid above that bone. You can put another piece of paper under your hand so that you don't smear pencil all over. That's fine to do that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. All right, now I'm using a soft pencil, so I need to sharpen mine pretty regularly. There we go. All right, so we're going to start on the wing, and I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to make it dark towards the, towards where that come, the bones are closer together. And then as I get away from that, I'm going to get lighter and lighter. Still pushing down a little bit harder than I did on the body. So I'm trying to get a little bit darker wing. And I'm going in the direction, I'm not doing circles this time, I'm doing lines because I want a smoother look. Um, and so, I, and I'm following the direction of my bones. I'm not coloring against that direction. I want to color in the direction. Color that in. Same next to that, I'm going to use a heavier pressure. And then as I get farther down, I'm going to use lighter and lighter pressure. So it looks similar to that first section there. And if I go over the edge of my line, this, I can always take my eraser and clean that up if I need to. Okay, and then Okay, so I'm going to do that on the inside of this wing. Darker here, darker along the bone pretty much. And then really dark along the body. Try to really make that nice and dark. Darker than the body, a little bit anyway. And we can go back later and use our eraser to yeah, take remove some of that on the body to lighten it up just a bit. Okay, and then as we get away from the body, we're going to get lighter and lighter pressure. So I like to fill mine in with my pencil first, and then we'll use our blending tool. Now yours may look a little bit different depending on what pencil you're using. I have a soft pencil, but if you have a little bit harder lead, yours might not be quite as dark as mine and that's okay. There we go. Sharpen my pencil again. And so what we do to one side of the wing, we're gonna do the exact same to the other side. So you wanna go ahead and, oops, there goes my lead. You want to go ahead and do the same on your other wing. I need to get my heavy duty right sharpener out here. There we go. That does a better job. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing on this wing. Lighter and lighter pressure there. And then I'm going to flip this upside down to, so my hand isn't going to rub all over my coloring. But if you use another piece of paper, that'll help underneath your hand.
So overall, our wings should be a little darker than our body. All right, and the last little bit here, we're gonna have it really dark underneath this body. And this part will be a little bit darker just because it's underneath the body more. Once you have that all colored in, we're going to um, get our blending tool out. And this is where we're going to, uh, we're going to blend what we've done. So I'm going to blend and I'm using the same technique that I use with my pencils. So I'm doing little circles to blend on the body. Blend that around. And then um, I'm actually going to use so there's some mark, so, so some graphite there on the end of my blending tool now. So I'm just going to lightly color with that over that center of the ear. So it darkens it up just a hint, but not too much. And then if we do it too much, we can always use our eraser later to, to do, fix that. Take some off again. So I'm going to blend in little circles the whole body now. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna take that graphite that's on the tip of my um, blending tool and just lightly color in the legs and in the tail. So it has just a hint of color, but it's still pretty light. And then now I'm gonna blend in my wing. And I'm doing it the same direction that I use my pencil. So I'm doing more straight lines on my, or following the shape of the bones there on my wing. And I can clean that up with my eraser. So don't worry if you get a little bit over the edge because you can clean that up with your eraser. Do it between the between the legs here. Get all nice and blended, and then we're gonna do this side. So once I blend that side in, I'm almost done here with the whole body and the wings. So now again, I have some graphite on the tip of my blending tool. I'm going to use that to just lightly color in the bone area. I, do, I still want it to be pretty light, but I don't want it to be white paper. Just give it a little bit of... So the last step, we have one more step to finish our back, and that is taking our eraser. Now, if you don't have a kneaded eraser, you could still use your normal eraser. You just want to use the very edge of your eraser. Um, but with a blend, with a kneaded eraser, I'm going to squish it till I have a very thin um, section there, and I'm just going to lift off some of the pencil with that thin. So I'm going to start on the. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make a tip first. So you can actually make a little pointed tip on your eraser and you can just tap the inside of the ears because I don't want to, I don't want to make any lines. I'm going to tap it. So it remain, keep that same texture of the, um, his body. And then you can just knead it. 
squish it together and around to, oops, to clean it like that. And I'm going to make another little tip that's all clean and do that on the very center of his body right here. Not the part that's down by his tail, but the little bit bigger section here. Just all around there, tap and lift some of that off and create that highlight there. And then probably a little bit on the end of his nose. And this time I'm just going to make some little lines there on the end of his, on his nose area. There we go. And maybe just a hint on the side of his cheek. There we go. And then I'm going to thin it again and just draw a line down his leg. I don't want to erase all that's in there. I just want to remove a little bit just to create. And I'm going to do the same thing on the, his arms just to get a little bit of highlight on there. Gives it a little more dimension. And then the last thing I'm going to make kind of a big, oops, make a big section, bigger section there. And then I'm just going to hit his, um, the edge of his wings just a little bit. I'm bare, I'm not rubbing very hard. Just want to remove a little bit of that pencil. And I'm going to use the other side because it's clean. Just creating a little more value to my bat here. There. Now we have a wonderful, realistic bat who has some very dark areas and some light areas. And that's what makes him look a little more real is creating those values. So thank you so much for joining me today to create this fun bat. I'd love to see your bat when you're all finished, so feel free to send me a picture. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.